so here we have a fresh install of the app. I seem to be getting a lot of glare on the phone here. I have the Bluetooth device mounted on the bike here. And you can see on here you have a red Bluetooth light, so you tap it. And it brings up the Bluetooth device manager for the app, and you click on search. And it shows the GM app. So now you click on the GM app, and the blue light has come on down here. And you can see that if you tap on the app, you can turn it on and off. So we definitely are connected. And we're about to go out for a test ride. Uh, I just want to show you some of the settings on here. You can go back to the app now. Uh, and you can go into the settings. Now, I know it didn't realize yesterday, but you can tap right here. And you can change the settings to English. So that's, you know, a big difference from what I was trying to do yesterday. But you can see all the different settings, regen braking, you can turn it on and off, you can turn on and off the reverse. Uh, the pass ratio has something to do with the pedelec. Uh, the no nominal battery voltage, uh, you select what type of battery you want there. And the over voltage and under voltage will change depending on what type of battery you have. Like for example, if I select the 48 volt battery, uh, I click on 36. You can see that the settings for the battery now is 36 and the over voltage is 52, under voltage is 31. Now I didn't actually save anything to this until I go down here and I click right here which saves the settings. The second icon over but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to leave it at 48. So I'll go back to my battery and I'll set it at 48. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> you know you can set the, uh, the amps, 25 amps is normal, 70 is your peak amps. Uh, maximum forward speed, I set at uh, 225. I had it, it set 380 by default, and after quite a bit of adjusting on a ride the other night, I played back and forth and I set it at 225. Seems to be about 30 kilometers an hour. Uh, you can also spe uh, uh, set your reverse speed. Uh, that's if you have a trike or something like that. Uh, your EBS phase current is your regen. I'm going to actually turn the regen up a little bit on this bike. And let's see here. Oh, here we go. 70. So change it from 50 to 70. Okay, and now to save that setting, I just got to tap right there. And it says, do you want to save to the controller? Okay, so my regen is now set at 70. And uh, maximum forward speed, 225. Uh, the phase current, I'm not sure what that is, actually. Uh, which one did I change here? Oh, did I do that correctly? 70, okay. Okay, maybe the phase, maybe you can't set the regen over, over, seven, over 50. Let's put it at 40. Oh yeah, you can't set the regen beyond 50. Okay, well now it's at 40. So, I don't know, I'm gonna put it back to 50. Yeah, I like it there. Okay. Uh, what other acceleration? This is the up ramp speed on how fast it takes off. Uh, on a bike like this, it's a front wheel drive and you don't want the front wheel spinning out on you a lot. So instead of having it at full power at takeoff, I'll set it at around 80. And it might take a second or two for it to reach full throttle. Uh, connection password, I'm not going to bother with that. I don't need a password. So uh, that's basically the settings. And uh, now we're going to go for a test drive. So I'm going to have to. Uh, literally tape this phone onto my bike. I'm going to put, a bag, put it in a baggie and tape it to the bike because I don't have a stand for it. And uh, we're going to make some video. As you can see, I've actually taped the phone to the front of my bike. And we're going to go out for a test ride and hopefully we'll be able to see it good enough through the tape. Okay, the first thing I've discovered is I had to put the brightness of the phone right up to the max to be able to see it in the daylight. And I'm getting a lot of glare off the baggie I have taped over the phone. Even when I go out in the direct sunlight, it's quite glary. But uh, we'll see what I can do. We'll give it a shot. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, say OK. And then save it to the controller. And then go back. OK, so that should give me 20 kilometers an hour quite easily.
Okay, so we're at 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, you know, this could be different for every bike, every rider. You know, experiment with this yourself. I seem to be getting 20 kilometers an hour when I have it set at 140. Uh, so this would be perfect for cycle paths. And then when I'm out on the street, I can turn it back to 230 and go 32 kilometers an hour. So anyway, at this setting of 140 RPM, I can go a long way. I'm only burning about two to three amps of power at a time here instead of 25. And I'm going, uh, you know, only uh, 10, 15 kilometers slower than I would be, or 10 kilometers slower, 12. But instead of burning 25 amps, I'm only burning three. So I could probably go, you know, a heavy guy like myself, probably 15, 20 miles like this. Whereas if I have it set at 32, and all out on the amp, uh, you know, it burns up a lot of power, especially at takeoff and uh, uphills. I am going along at exactly 20 kilometers an hour. This is great. Okay, so I'm back into a street situation here. So I had it set at 140 for the path. Just going to go into that. Poke on it, and I find that 230 is the best for the street for 32 kilometers an hour, and then save it. Uh, let's see, let's go. So now I'm back out on the street. I have the amps down quite low still, but uh, climbing along here, already up to 20 kilometers an hour. uphill climb. Okay, we're 28 kilometers an hour. We're dropping, climbing up the tracks here. Down to 25. Okay, it's going to flatten out here, but still a good strong headwind. And we're rolling along quite nicely at 32 kilometers an hour. Don't mind the battery banging, please. I'll, uh, I'll fix that. Well, I guess that's it. That's programming the Magic Pi 5 Vector sine wave controller with Bluetooth. And I was programming it with a Samsung Galaxy 3 and Android 4.4. Okay, whew, now we're back in the air conditioning. It's 41 out there today. Uh, beautiful day for a ride. So I went almost 10 kilometers. I uh, still have 52.9 volts on the battery. And uh, that was a blast. So I'm going to go into this right now and just show you the settings I was changing. I was going in here and going down here to my forward speed and by default this is normally at 380 I have it set for 230 for the street and I was setting it for 140 for the cycle path All right and to save it you got to go down here to make sure I hit these buttons right and it says would you like to have it downloaded to the controller yes and uh, okay, so now that's saved to the controller, and then we just go back into the app. And uh, now it would be set for, here we go, now it would be set for 
riding on the path and then I go back out on the street and I just push that button up there and I go back down here and I hit on the 140 and I change it back to 230 RPM and then it goes 32 kilometers an hour and that's it so enjoy the ride Gary Silo Gold Motor Canada okay I finally did something I wanted to do for a long time I ran the wires right up inside the fork tube all the way up to the top so now it's a super clean build is that awesome or what? Gary Salo, Golden Motor Canada.